What do you get when you put together a very talented group of modders, game enthusiasts, artists, and industry professionals? Well, in this case, you get one of the largest mods that's probably ever hit the community. That's right, Fallout London is coming a lot sooner than you might think. That's right, if you've not been following, Fallout London is going to be a massive, massive experience that you'll want to check out. Welcome everybody to the Lumberzack Gaming Channel, your place for friendly, quality gaming content, and we are back, baby. It's been a little while, but we've got some brand new exciting things on the content calendar in 2024, but let's not worry about that right now because right now you came to hear about Fallout London, as you should. So what is Fallout London? Fallout London is a brand new mod that is coming for Fallout 4 that has been in production by a team called Folun. Fallen? I'm gonna guess Folun. Fallout London. Now you may be asking, who is Folun? Well, they would describe themselves as a group of hobbyists, industry professionals, modders, and game enthusiasts who have come together from all corners of the globe to breathe life into the post-apocalyptic streets of London. Guys, I'm not messing with you right now. This is going to be the largest mod that we've probably ever seen, maybe like ever. And so what I wanna do today is I wanna compile all of the things that we know about Fallout London because I genuinely believe this deserves the hype and the praise because it just looks incredible. According to the team, about 50 people regularly worked on this mod with a little over 200 people being involved in the project in some form or other. Now guys, you have to remember, this is not Bethesda. This is a group of passionate gamers and modders that decided that they wanted to do something incredible. And it has been quite the journey. That being said, this is a game sized mod. It's not just a few skins here and there. It's not just a few weapons here and there. It is a brand new experience that will be running on Fallout 4. And it's going to be here a lot sooner than you may think. The team right now has said that the game is in a functional content complete stage. However, they wanted to release in 2023, but with global events that have affected the lives of the people that were working so hard on this mod, they decided to push it back a few months and we'll get there in just a moment. Now, in the time that they had pushed it back, they said that they are primarily devoting that time and energy into testing it, making sure that it is fully ready to hit the internet on release date. Now, there are a lot of things that we can expect from Fallout London, and honestly, it's more than I really thought was gonna be in the game, so I'm pretty excited about this. Fallout London will take us to 15 boroughs of London, and I'm gonna name them I'm not English, but I'm gonna try my best. I apologize if I get some of these wrong. But you can expect to visit places like Bromley, Camden, Croydon, Eastminster, Greenwich, Hackney, Islington, Lambeth, Lewisham, Newham, Southwark, Tower Hamlets, Wandsworth, and Westminster. Did I say some of those wrong? Maybe. Did I say them with confidence? Absolutely, and that's all that matters. And for those of you guys that love the settlements aspect of Fallout 4, there are going to be seven unique settlements that are gonna be placed in Fallout London for you to get a hold of, to build up your bases. I'll be honest, in all of my Fallout playthroughs, I either fully dive into the settlement aspect or I show up, become the leader of the Minutemen and never talk to Preston Garvey again. But if this is your cup of tea, well, you'll have seven unique settlements to choose from. Just how large is this mod? Well, it is actually larger than the Commonwealth of Fallout 4 and the Far Harbor DLC combined. It is massive. I cannot stress that enough. This mod is insanely massive. And you better believe I'm going to do everything I can to explore every nook and cranny because I need a little pick me up after what I hoped Starfield would deliver. Now, just what all is included in Fallout London, in terms of 3D, 2D artwork, models, it's it's pretty massive and they've really detailed it out for us. As far as 3D artwork and models go, we can expect to see 121 weapons, 514 clothing items, 29 races, and that is including Cyber pigeons. Are, are you are you freaking kidding me? Cyber pigeons? I'm convinced they work for the bourgeoisie. 64 types of foliage, 425 architecture 3D models, 203 consumables, and 2,056 miscellaneous assets. Holy crap. 
Can you imagine the amount of time that went into all of the 3D artwork alone? There is also a ton of 2D artwork in this in forms of graffiti and posters and photos, images, all of these things combining together to create such a deep rooted experience. Now, as you navigate around this area, I'm sure you're gonna wanna look at the map on your Pip-Boy, but alas, there is no Pip-Boy. Instead, we have the Attaboy. The Attaboy will be your wrist companion through your time throughout the radioactive streets of London. And make sure to turn it on and tune into one of the three new radio stations that are included in Fallout London, featuring 47 new songs. And if you don't want to listen to the radio, well, the OST includes 74 new tracks, and you can listen to those right now. They have made them available, so if you're trying to get into the mood, if you're trying to build up the excitement, you can always go check out their website for the OST. For those of you guys that want to know a little bit about the gameplay, we know right now that this gameplay takes place about 50 years before the events of Fallout 4, which would place it in between Fallout 1 and 2. For any of you guys who played the older games and want to know a little bit more about the time and setting. As far as gameplay goes, there's quite a lot here too, as they have revamped the crafting system and a new dialogue overhaul that helps you figure out a little bit better whether or not your charisma is high enough to convince somebody to do something for you. Also, there's boats. You wanna get in a boat? We got boats. As far as gameplay goes, there are also new dynamic weather situations and new player animations like climbing ladders, swimming, and yes, milking cows. Now you may be thinking, maybe I'm just gonna wander around and kill a few things, and you would be right, but there are also a plethora of quests to do during your time in London. That's right, as far as quests goes, there are 53 main quests, 35 side quests, 25 new faction quests, 64 miscellaneous quests, 16 gang quests, and five companion quests. Maybe saying, Zach, 25 new faction quests? Uh, are, there any, are there any new factions here in Fallout London? And the answer is yes. What a silly question. Up first, we have the Gentry. They are the current rulers of London and the descendants of the pre-war aristocracy and British government. They are the ones who primarily rule over the city of London. Their rule is strict, and to be considered official, one must possess a royal charter and pay tithes of tribute in exchange for nominal defense and aid. Followed by that are the Tommies, and they are a militia that are set to act as the protectors of London. While good intentions are what started the Tommies, by the time the game starts, their leadership is blissfully unaware that they have become the tools of the gentry. We can also see a new faction called the Fifth Column, headed by Eve Varney. They wish to tear down the establishment of London and rebuild a new empire from the ashes. They want to see the world burned down and the new world rebuilt in the image of their leader, Eve, sneering at the influence of the gentry. Then we can see Camelot, an underground organization fighting to free London from gentry rule. Man, gentry just sounds like they suck. However, they are currently in hiding, seeking to start a revolution and to cast down the gentry. Then we have the Isle of Dogs Syndicate, and they are a criminal organization. But they are not a group of rough and tough bandits. They are very wealthy with a professional criminal vibe. They're sophisticated and they're in direct conflict with the Vagabonds after murdering their leader. Which leads us to the Vagabonds, who've just had their leader murdered. And the main thing that they seek is revenge on the Isle of Dogs Syndicate. It'll be interesting to see how these two factions interact with each other throughout our time in London. And finally, we have Angel, an elusive beast of a group, spoken of only in whispers. Some people believe they have agents and eyes everywhere watching and monitoring, and others say they are actually the ones who are in charge of this post-apocalyptic London. These new factions sound exciting, and you'll be able to experience them with seven new companions, including an English bulldog. Just look at this little man. Look at him. Look at him. He's perfect. Now, just to continue to hammer away at the fact that this is a massive experience, there are over 90,000 recorded lines of dialogue. And to put that in perspective, that is one and a half times more than Fallout New Vegas or Skyrim. You may be thinking, well, yeah, the protagonist is going to be talking all the time. No, silent protagonist. 
Those are 90,000 lines of dialogue of people in the rest of London. Now here might be a little bit of bad news for people who are expecting to play this. This is a PC only experience and you will need to own Fallout 4 and all of the DLC in order to experience it. As of right now, the team says that they do not have any plans to bring this to console as it would be way too big of a project that they do not have the ability to do. Now on the bright side, if you don't own it on PC or you don't own all the DLC, you maybe have some time to catch a Steam sale because the release date is coming up soon on April 23rd, 2024 or St. George's Day. Guys, I cannot stress how excited I am for Fallout London considering I have been watching it for quite a while now. Let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on this? Are you as excited as I am? What concerns do you have? Let me know, I wanna talk to you. Here at the Lumberzack Gaming Channel, we are all about building a gaming community of gamers who wanna build each other up, who value each other, who just wanna have a good time. If that sounds like something that you wanna be a part of, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like on this video, it does wonders for the channel. Guys, I'm not kidding, we have a lot of great new things coming up in 2024. Make sure to stick around for it. And for all of your gaming news, keep it right here to the Lumberzack Gaming Channel.